and it's Emily and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today, uh, the first video that I recorded for this build got corrupted. Yeah, um, really, really frustrating. I'm still not sure how it happened, but it happened. Um, it was fine yesterday and now it's, now it's not working. Uh, so yeah, really frustrating thing, but that's okay because really you didn't miss anything important. I... Um, I really just did the shape of the house, and you can see that all right here, and, um, it's a really long build anyway, which is why it's split into two parts, guys! I have my first ever two-part video! I feel like this is an accomplishment, except not really, it just means I take a really, really long time to record videos. Uh, yeah, but I don't know, I have, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, if you will remember, way back in my second video, I did a pink starter home, and I said that there was this pink house that I had seen on Tumblr and Pinterest that I really wanted to build, but I didn't have the time for it at that moment. Um, and so, eventually, I was going to build it. Well, today is that day. I've spent the past three days recording this, which you guys, you guys might be interested to know is a really long time for me to record, um, because basically, my schedule, I have, um, so I upload every other day, and so what I usually do is I upload a video, and then while it's uploading, I record my new video, um, like while it's uploading to YouTube after I've taken care of the description and stuff, I start working on my, uh, next video, and then usually... Uh, sometimes I can get it done that same day, or sometimes I finish it up, uh, the next day, and then I get it mostly edited, and then I, uh, and so then I just have to upload it, um, the day after that. And that way, that way I don't feel like I'm rushing and trying to do everything, um, the day I'm supposed to get a video up, but today that ended up happening because it took me three days to make this. Guys, it's, I, I said I was going to do bigger houses, and looks like we've got bigger houses now. Um, but yeah, this was a really fun build for me to do. I don't know why, but I really like making pink houses. Like, pink houses are just one of my favorite things to do, and I don't know why. I, maybe it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm very much a girly girl, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. Uh, but one of the big things, one of the reasons it's on this 20 by 40 lot, which I'm pretty sure it's the only 25 by 40 lot, so if you want to place this, better, better place it in Newcrest. Uh, but one of the big reasons I wanted it on here because, is because I wanted to do a hedge maze. Um, and I had no actual good reason for wanting to do a hedge maze, except for the fact that I associate them with Victorian homes, and I really wanted to try making my own. Um, so I started out by copying the one that is just like a room, and then I sort of expanded on it, and I messed around with it a lot, and you'll see me like adding onto it, probably in the next part, I don't think I quite finished adding onto it in this part. Um, but yeah, building this hedge maze was an adventure. And I mean that in the best way possible. Like, I had so much fun building it, and I had so much fun, like, trying to figure it out. But, yeah. At one point, I was so, um, so excited about, like, making it difficult to get through that I actually blocked off that centerpiece, which is supposed to be, like, the finish of the maze. Um, but, yeah. And then here's me trying to add on to it. You can see on the left side, I've got, like, all of these weird back and forth things that don't really lead anywhere. I end up switching those all out. I think, I think the finished hedge maze is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I spent a lot of time on it. Like, uh, when Get Together first came out, I think it was Deligracy who said that the Sim Guru who built the hedge maze for the, is it Von Haunt Estate? Yeah, Von Haunt Estate, uh, spent six hours on it, and I was like, holy crap, that's a really long time. But now I've done this, and I'm like, wow, how did you do that huge thing in only six hours, like, doing it completely from scratch? Because this was hard, guys. This was really hard. Uh, oh, I didn't realize I added that tree so early. I think it was because I was doing that hedge maze, so I was like, oh, maybe I'll do landscaping now. No, I, I leave landscaping till the end, which is what I always do, and I'm just, like, stopped for a second. That was weird. Um, I thought about adding those hedges for, that came with Romantic Garden stuff to the outside of the maze. It didn't look good. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I do use a lot of romantic garden stuff, though. Um, 
I use it for this fence, which I'm going to change up in a minute, and I use it for quite a bit of the landscaping. But I guess it makes sense, because Romantic Garden stuff is very much, I don't know, it has a lot of pink in it. Like, it has this pink fence. Um, and also, I have a stuffy nose, so like, I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird today, because, yeah. Stuffy knows my brother and sister have been home all week sick. I mean, it was their spring break, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but yeah, they've been home all week. Um, and they should have been, like, playing and stuff because it was their spring break, but instead they spent the entire week sick, which was really sad for them. Um, but you can see me. I put lights in, and I'm starting to do the floor plan. Uh, that, I put that kind of, like, placeholder dining table in there because I wanted to make sure that it would work right there. And then we're just figuring out the floor plan. See, I told you guys, I told you guys I didn't actually do anything important in the part that we lost. I'm really upset about that, guys. Like, I'm really frustrated by that because I, I just don't know how it happened. Um, I struggle with the upstairs floor plan a little bit. I feel like I struggle with floor plans in general. They're difficult, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, what is that sound? There's a very weird sound outside my door right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's very weird. Also, speaking of you guys being able to hear things, not hear things, I'm ordering my mic this week. I'm so excited. Um, like, that is one of the most ridiculous things, and no one would be excited about it unless they did YouTube. But like, oh my gosh. Guys, I'm so excited I'm gonna have a real mic. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because I was really excited about it. Um, so that floor plan upstairs, that's not going to stay. I don't know if we change, yeah, we change it now, I think. We change part of it now. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm really happy with the upstairs because right now it only has three bedrooms and I end up putting four in. Also, that's the study right there. And as I was taking screenshots, I was like, oh my God, I totally should have put French doors in there. I didn't put French doors in. Um. So, you know, sad. Uh, I, I guess I could have changed it before I uploaded it, but I actually, I changed like two other things after I had already finished recording. Because one, I realized I had taken out the entrance to the hedge maze. What is that sound? Um, I realized I had taken out the entrance to the hedge maze, and two, there were no lights in the hedge maze, so at night it was really, really dark. Um... But yeah, putting some flooring in, uh, flooring was a struggle because I wanted it to look like original flooring, but I wanted like really, really thin floor tiles and that didn't work. And the interior is still pretty pink. Um, the main wallpaper that I use for this house, the one that I use in the front entryway and in the kitchen is pink and then I change it. Um, the dining room is very pink, but it's, uh, it's not, um, it doesn't have pink wallpaper, but, like, there's a lot of pink in there. I love the dining room, actually. Uh, we don't finish it until the next part, because I didn't finish it until this morning, but, guys, it was so much fun. I love the dining room. Um, and then the living room is not all the way pink. I also really love the living room. I just really like this house. Like, this is 100% a house that I want to play in, which is kind of weird because like, I feel like normally my, the homes that I play in aren't quite this traditional because it is a very, very traditional home. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think it would be a lot of fun to play in this ridiculously pink house. Actually, as I was explaining it to my friends, I was like, guys, this is the most obnoxiously pink house I have ever built. Which is saying something. This is like my third pink house. Uh, the first one was my pink Parisian, which I really love that house, guys. It's it's a fun house. Um, so yeah, the first one is my pink Parisian, and then the second one was my pink starter, and now I have this pretty and pink Victorian, which, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, but yeah, you can see that I used a lot of arches in here. I felt like I was doing a very closed off floor plan, and so I wanted it to have a little bit a little bit more openness to it. Also, that little butler guy, I ended up putting him in the dining room, which made me happy. I just, I don't know, I just kind of put him in there. Uh, it was fun. And we're putting together the study now, which I really like. So basically, this, 
up until like the living room or up until the dining room I did all of this the day I uploaded my Victorian studio and I'm just like stopped for a second there that was awkward but anyway I up in like most of the downstairs I did uh, the same day I uploaded my Victorian studio and it was kind of interesting because I was going back and taking screenshots and I was like I'm actually really proud of this room I really like this oh my gosh, I forgot I did this. I really like this. Um, and it was kind of fun because I was just like, oh, like, I'm very proud of this build. And originally I was just like, oh, it's just another build. But I don't know. It's, it's a very nice house. It is pretty expensive. I can check to see how much it is on the gallery because it's already uploaded in case you want to download it. Oh my gosh, me messing around with curtains because I put curtains in every single room of this house. Do you, do you realize what a struggle that was for me? I hate curtains. Oh my gosh, it already has a bunch of downloads. That makes me happy. Okay, um, but the Pretty in Pink Victorian, it is 209,571 simoleons. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. You'll probably have to use money cheats in order to buy it. Or if you were doing like a legacy, I guess you'd probably have enough money by the second or third generation that you could afford this house. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so that striped wallpaper makes an appearance several times because I love that striped wallpaper and I want to use it so much. Um, and I just couldn't find a room that I liked it in. So I ended up using it in one of the kids' bedrooms upstairs, and then I forgot I used it up there, and I was like, oh, I'll put it in the dining room too. So it's in two rooms, but that's okay, because I love it. I love that striped wallpaper. I used like all of the really traditional, really fancy wallpapers in this house, and I really enjoyed doing that. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna talk about. We're already like 12 minutes in. Um, this for an entryway. I was originally going to make this into like a formal sitting room, but then I realized that the layout was really weird. Also, awkward little downstairs powder room right there. I didn't know where to put it. I like finished the floor plan and I was like, oh, I haven't put any of that in there. So yeah, it just went in there. It does its job. You can use it. It's totally fine. Um, and then putting in this and we're stopping again because apparently I forgot to cut out all of my awkward pauses. Uh, la -di -da -di -da 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 -da. I have a question for you guys while we're stopped here. Um, oh, and we're started again. Uh, how, how often do you sing? Because I sing a lot, like constantly, and it's probably pretty annoying because, I don't know, I, I enjoy singing quite a lot. Um, but today my brother was like, Emily, why do you sing so much? And I was just like, I don't know, because because it makes me happy, because I like singing. It was so hard to come up with an answer. I didn't have a good answer. But yeah, I like singing. And how do you guys feel about singing? Do you like to sing? Um, I don't know, just random thing that was on my mind. And changing the wallpaper. So the base of this house is pretty pink, but I did try to make it so that the entire house wasn't pink. So, you know, they're like... I don't know. I just, I didn't want it to be overwhelming. Um, okay, really quick. Actually, not really quick. I can say whatever I want. It's my build. Uh, but those seats right there, those striped ones, I discovered those a little while ago. And I don't know why, but like, I just, I had never used them, probably because I had never used that style of couch because it has that kind of odd pattern on it. Um, and I discovered that these striped ones were in there and they are my favorite thing to use. Like, I don't know why, but I just really love the striped furniture, that striped furniture. And there's two different versions of it. Also, I remembered a bin like halfway through the build. You couldn't see me just now, but I like made all of these awkward arm movements because I was so excited and so proud of myself. Yeah, I remembered a bin. I did forget a mailbox until the very last second, but I remembered the bin and I remembered the indoor bin and the outdoor bin, and I'm very proud of myself. But yeah, that was really random. Um, I guess I could talk about what packs does this use because there's a, there's a couple different packs. I know it uses Get to Work from that, um, that lamp right there and there's other things from get to work 
Uh, it uses get together, I think. Yes, it uses get together. Um, it uses movie hangout stuff. Every time, okay, guys, I keep pausing, I know, and like distracting myself, but every time I say movie hangout stuff now, my automatic thought is movie stuff hangout, and that will like forever be what I think of now. So thank you, Sophie, uh, for doing that for me. But yeah, just random. Um, also, that little uh, treat thing comes in pink. I discovered all of these objects that come in pink and it made me happy. Um, but anyway, back to the packs it uses. It uses Get to Work. I'm just going to go through the date of release. I th I think it uses Spot A. Does it use Spot A? I am not sure. Guys, I don't know if it... Mm. I thought about putting those Spot A lights in there. I could probably, like, load the house and see if it's in there. I'll come back to that. I don't know if it uses spot A. I will check and I will know for sure before the next, before the next video. Uh, so it uses get to work. It uses maybe spot A. It uses cool kitchen stuff. Yes, it uses cool kitchen stuff for like a couple of clutter objects. Um, it uses movie hangout stuff. It uses romantic garden stuff. And it uses uh, get together. So, yeah, pretty much all of the packs I have. Um, I think, okay, so I know I keep bringing this up, but my birthday is next week. So I think I'm getting the pack, the remaining packs I don't have. I have, like, three that I really want to get. Because, honestly, I don't care about spooky stuff. I don't need spooky stuff. Um, the, the dining room is coming together. It, I guess you see, for the most part, what it looks like here. But, like, the finished product is so cute, guys. I, I love this dining room and I love the pink chandelier. I don't know why I didn't use that pink chandelier more, but yeah, I really love it. I really love everything in this house. I just, I like pink. Okay. I like pink. Um, but yeah, I will, I will see if it uses spa day and then I will tell you in the next video because there are two parts to this video because it took me forever to build. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. So we're putting paintings on the wall. Um, I, I realized while doing this that there actually aren't that many paintings that have, like, the traditional frames. Like, I felt like I was kind of backed into a corner. I use those ones all the time, the ones that I just put in. I use those constantly, and I, I'm not entirely sure why I use them so much. Um, I, I don't know. I just feel like they look nice. Like, they look nice in any style of home. And I put those wine racks in there because I thought that looked nice. And then just adding some clutter. So I did use quite a lot of move objects in this house. Um, for example, that little tea thing right there. I'm about to, like, move those around and then move it into a more precise place. Um, so, yeah, I did do that. And, I don't know. It, it might disappear. If it does, that's okay. It's not really a big deal. It's just clutter. Um, and I put a dishwasher in. I did not put a dishwasher in my last build. I, I mean, I didn't get any comments about it because I feel like most people, you don't need a dishwasher, really. Like, you don't need a dishwasher. Um, but yeah, just adding some clutter. I, let's see, I'm trying to think of how much of this build we do in this video. Um, I think... We pretty much finish with the downstairs, and then I think we just do the master bedroom. And then I used one of those corner pieces. I like the corner pieces too. I used a lot of like the more traditional objects that I feel like I normally don't have a place for in my builds. Like I used a lot of very traditional objects in this build. Um, but yeah, it was it was fun. I got to kind of play around with. The more Victorian style because really the Sims 4 like they have so much in here that is just great for Victorian style homes also I'm about to put that little um I can't remember the name of it oh there's the butler guy um and then I put like a little yeah I put the fruit on his thing I tried to put that in like three separate rooms and I finally put it in this front entryway and I think it looks cute but I don't know why I just I feel like I have almost never used that and I really like it. I just think it's a cute object to have in the game. I wish we had more swatches. 
for it. I feel like that's my general mood, is I wish we had more swatches, but yeah, that especially. But anyway, back to my thoughts, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, I use a lot of these lights because I didn't want to uh, sacrifice the aesthetic, but these lights were not lighting things up properly, and so I just use a bunch of the debug lights. Um, and I actually, I went in and changed all of the lighting colors before I uploaded it, so it's like a good color. Uh, doing the lighting upstairs and trying to kind of figure things out, um, I did have this nice deck for the uh, master bedroom, which, oh, I do use Spot A, because I put like, um, later on in the next video, you'll see I put a little meditation stool and I put um, a yoga mat out there. And it's really cute. I, I'm quite happy with it. And then I'm using the white version of the kind of tutory lights from Get Together. I don't know though. Um, I'm trying to think, what should I talk about? I feel like I should plan what I talk about because I get bored of talking about the build. Um, I don't know. We're actually, we're coming up on the end of this. There's not any screenshots, so it just sort of goes. Do we change the layout? So I actually, I move all of these bedrooms around a lot, these two kids' bedrooms, and there's actually three of them. There's three of them in the end, and they're all quite a bit smaller because I felt a little awkward about the fact that the kids' bedrooms were like the exact same size as the master bedroom. Um, I really like the master bedroom though. Like, I'm such a dork. And when I went into into the game to take screenshots, I like went through the door of the master bedroom and my sister was sitting next to me and I was just like, oh, oh my God, I'm so proud of this. And she was like, Emily, you're ridiculous. Like, I don't know why I'm so proud of it, but guys, I just really like this house and I know I keep saying that, but it was so much fun to make and I, I don't know. I just really like it. But yeah, we're almost done with this. Um, so if you want to download this before you watch the next part, it is already on the gallery. You can download it by searching my origin ID SimSprite. I also use the hashtag SimSprite. Uh, the name of this is Pretty in Pink Victorian. I will include a link to it in the description down below. So you can download it there too. Um, oh, I put a mirror above the fireplace because I love doing that. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I also have links to my Twitter and my Tumblr and my Beyond Sims social or a sim book or whatever you want to call it. I have that all down there below so you can click on all of that and do all of that fun stuff. But yeah, just finishing up this room. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you when I post the next part of this tomorrow. And I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!